What's good? It's King Hassani Reacts. Don't forget to like, comment, and what? Subscribe, or else you'll get left but huh? And also turn the post notification so you know every time I drop a new video, a new banger video. But anyways, man, I'm finna react to Gabe versus Holder. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Let's go. If you haven't already, make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button to the channel. And you know what I'm going to say. Support is free. But anyways, it says Taylor Holder versus An... Hold on. Anton Gibb. I, I don't know how to pronounce his, his name, but I'm, I'm going to just say Gibb. So without further ado, let's go. No copyright, no thank you. Shit to action, let's go. Let's go, action. They are ready. Here we go, the first of a scheduled five rounds. I'm excited, guys, to see what Taylor Holder has. I'm super excited. In fact, I got a confession. I got a $10,000 bet with another YouTuber, Nico. He's, of oh, course, he put all the money on the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's voting for Gib. Oh, so you bet on Holder? I bet on Holder, yeah. Okay. I like Holder's high guard, right? That guard, he's keeping his hands up. He's being patient. That looks like an educated boxer to me. Absolutely, Paige. And you're going to see Gib just rush, just rush, just rush. Bringing it down to the body. Not utilized a ton tonight is those body shots. Those body shots can take your opponent's breath away. Ooh. You know, when the odds first... Okay, Gib. Okay, Gib. And it switched. It switched. It switched. I'm just saying we moved the market. Just like that. <laughs> well, Gib has a lot of fans, and it's not just his personal fans or his personal subscribers. The entire YouTube UK uh, is all supporting Gib. Some of the biggest creators in the world supporting Gib, and of course TikTok. You know, my my partner Ian Parker, he said that Taylor, he's been hearing through the grapevine, has been very very. We're starting to see that here in the first round. He's taking a few shots. He's come out very, very slow. Holder looks amazing. I mean, he truly is being as patient as possible. He's not letting any of those punches come through. He's going to tire Gib out. If Gib keeps being the forward aggressor like this, he could get tired, and I think that's when Holder's going to capitalize. He definitely looks like the most seasoned fighter we've seen to this point. One went in a little low. On the entire card, right? Holder definitely, he seems oh, like, oh, not even, he's a real, he's a real boxer. Yeah, he card. really, yeah, Paige, he really is. Good combinations there by Holder. And very quick presser. All right, here we go, round two. Gibb in the blue shorts and Taylor Holder. Like, Gibbs, Gibbs' movement of, you know, his, his you know, his, his boxing movement is, is not bad. You know what I'm saying? He clearly has improved since last year to this year, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? He is so far, he's being the most active. And Gibb definitely has been the aggressor. We'll see if that continues in round two. Holder now in the classic boxing stance. I do want to keep his composure, but I do want to preserve him a little bit here. You got to believe at some point. He's going to let the hands go. And he looks good, right? You're looking at him. He's on the fence. He's not really getting hit. But in the eyes of the judges, he is losing when his back's on the ropes. Mm. He's going to kind of get the teeth off on. And here's, a, here's an important thing, Coach Page. Gibb is in the best shape of his life. We've seen him in other fights. He's never been this good looking as far as shape. So that might be the difference. And Taylor a little bit. Like, that's true. Like, like once you in shape, everything else take takes care of itself you know what i'm saying because once you are in shape you know things like that you know what i'm saying everything um you know is better that way once you're in, in in shape um comment down below um it's what two rounds so far just comment down below who you think who's gonna win the fight
Comment down below. Good, good punching by um Holder. Punches again. Gibb is definitely being more active. It don't matter if the punches hurt. It doesn't matter. It matter if it's if you're being more busier than than your um opponent. I like that. Good punches by Holder. Holder's got to do something. I mean, he's just playing defense. And that works in longer fights, right? This is five two-minute rounds. It is too short to be on on the defense the entire fight for this long. But we're in the third round. He needs this round. I, I would agree. He is starting to open the hands up a little bit more, but for the third straight round, Kim is way more aggressive. Gibbs cardio was holding up. I feel like that off, off the first round, I was curious if Gibbs cardio would hold up. He's just really holding him. He's not really using his length. Seems like he still has a ton of energy to go. Gibbs wasting no time. Like Taylor's probably doing like one, one, one or two punches and holding or, or covering up. That's really it. Put, he's definitely putting pressure on Holder for sure. Goodbye to the sh to to the um to the to the midsection, the stomach. Oh. Gib is not giving up, bro. Gib is keep applying pressure, keep applying pressure, keep applying pressure. I hate to say it, but it almost looks like his training has caused him to be too professional. If that's a thing. He just seems hesitant, you know? Yeah. He, he seems like he's trying to be too calculated. And a lot of times fighters can try to be too technical in there, but you need to trust that your technique will come out. You just have to go out there and fight, right? Black. Black. Please just see, every time we, every time when Holder is on the ropes, he he holds. Hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Literally, every time when he's on the ropes, he's holding. 
Literally, look at that. Clearly, I wait until the end. He's blocking every time, but most of the time. Every time when, when Holder's doing the overhand right, he's blocking it. Mm. Why does he keep holding, bro? He's tired. Everybody expected for the game when he fought Jake Paul. It just didn't happen. And this is a He definitely improved, man, for real, for real. What? 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 Bro, no, bro. No way is a draw. Give was being the most active. Even though if if you don't land it, it's still being more active, still throwing more punches at your opponent. Holder, yeah, Holder got some good shots, but he was doing one and two punches. One, two. Holding if, if he's at the ropes, he's holding. He he wasn't really doing nothing, and if he was he he was the so-called favorite to win the the boxing match, and and he was the, the so-called favorite of being the best fighter on the card, and then not look like he he was the best fighter on the card. He he didn't live up up to his expectation. So, um, you know, but all credit to both guys. Gib and and Holder for hopping in the ring and boxing. You know what I'm saying? Most people won't do that um at all. So all credit to, to both of you guys. But in my opinion, I thought that that Gib won the fight clearly, clear as day. He won a fight. He was being more active, throwing more punches than him. It just did it, it does make no sense to me. Um clearly he got robbed, Gib, so um, but yeah, um, comment down below if if you guys thought that Gib won or you thought it was a draw. Just comment down below if that decision was wrong and why you think that and did, and did you like this fight between Gib and, and Holder. So um, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And also drop a comment. Like always, say, man. Tap in, man. We go. Also, comment down below and what do you want me to react to next. And I got y'all. Follow me on Instagram, King Asani, three E's and one and three underscores. On Snapchat, I'm underscore two real three. And on uh, Twitter, King Asani, two E's and one. Make sure to follow those social media accounts. Show love. Gone.